friends, so I'm gonna show you some canna lily bulbs here. These are actually rhizomes, and my husband just picked these up for me yesterday. So we're going to take a look at what to do because right now it's only February and it's not time to plant these guys yet. It's just too cold. I'll probably be waiting until May to put these guys into an, a container outside. But I wanted to show you what you can do if you buy your rhizomes too soon into the season uh, because these plastic bags are not breathable and the bot if you notice if you get this we've got these at costco it does tell you to store your bulbs in an open bag and leave the plants and then in the original packaging so i'm going to just pop some holes into these plastic bags and i'm going to take a look at the health of the rhizomes and give you an idea of what to look for when you're checking out your rhythms. So I've got these, these look really healthy. Yeah. So I've got these really nice rhythms here. And you might not be sure what you're looking at when you take your cannas out. The roots are pretty obvious. Um, at least on this one, they're not always this obvious. Sometimes you're just going to have this long rhythm that just looks like uh, a, like a dying stick and you might not have any idea what it is that you're looking at. This one's a pretty good example um, of a one that's easy. So you see this little point right here? This is where the canna will actually start to grow. So I want to, I want to plant that with that tip pointing up. So not exactly like this, but more like this with that tip pointing upwards. So when it goes into the pot, I'm actually going to have to plant this pretty deeply. And I will do a separate video on how to plant the cannas when it comes time. Right now, this is just inspecting your rhizomes, making sure they're healthy. See, this one doesn't have as many roots as one little root kind of sticking out. But I'm looking through, I see live material everything's pink everything's white the rhythms are nice and firm there aren't any soft mushy spots so that's really encouraging the bag says that there's six of them in here so it looks like i have two bags with three each in there and they do look really good they're definitely viable and healthy and actually this was a really good buy so i'm pretty excited Okay, so let me open the other bag and I'm making a mess with all the peat that these are stored in. And let's see, it's a little moist inside the bag. Oh, that's a big one, look at that. So I've got a nice rhythm there. And again, I'll show you guys how to how to pot these up in a future video, or I'll just wait and put it all together. See, so there's my tip. So this guy will be planted upwards like that. All of these rhizomes look good and healthy, so that's good. You know, if you get a bag full of rhizomes that are not in good shape, I would take them back and ask for a new bag or just get your money back. Oh, look, there's an extra one here. I got lucky, I got seven. Ooh. So these are gonna be really fun to grow. Okay, so the roots are coming down here and it looks like, so I've got, it looks like I'll have two shoots on a lot of these. These are um, really nice, big, healthy rhizomes. So I'm pretty excited about these. So just wanna inspect them. And then since this bag is breathable, I'm going to just store them in the plastic bags. I'm going to bury them back into the peat material so that they don't dry out. And kind of wrap them back up and just put them back in here. And I'm going to keep them in a cool place away from the sun until it's 
time to plant them outside. And I'll be planting these in containers. I'm a zone five. So they aren't hardy in my zone, so I have to take care of them every year and bring them back in for dormancy. So this is just um, a red Canada, a red canna called the President. And these guys will need full sun once they're potted. And I'll do a video on how to pot these up with a beautiful display, what they will look beautiful with, and how to make a beautiful container out of your canna lilies. So that is a quick video on how to inspect your cannas and we'll have more soon thanks for watching bye